In today's Minecraft video, unfortunately, all the shops in our village got closed down. We came up with the idea of building our own 7-Eleven under our house. Goats, if you like and subscribe, we'll start selling melon slurpees. Yeah. Wait. No. Oh, I'm so hungry, Sonny. Oh, did you leave that sandwich in the fridge for me? I think I did. And I can hear your stomach rumbling, bro. That's crazy. Oh, I need the food. I need the food. And I should have a nice baked cake in the pantry too. Sonny? There's just dried kelp in the fridge! What is this? Don't tell me my cake went bad. No! Come on, where's the food? There's no food! It's okay. We could go to the store and get something fresh. Oh, Sonny, it's so far though. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I might starve to death. Melon, I hear they have burritos with extra beans. Oh, that sounds delicious. It might also give me massive diarrhea. Well, then don't order the triple extra sweet beans this time. It's too late. I'm gonna do it, Sonny. It's already in motion. Oh, I can't wait. Frozen burritos. Ew. Melon, this chest is just full of rotten flesh. Yeah, and this has dead brain, coral fan, and dead bushes. What is this? Usually there's frozen pizzas in here. Ew, what is this? It looks like boogers. Uh, Sonny, this is really creepy. There's human fingers in this chest. I'm gonna close this and pretend like I didn't see it. Yeah, that is disgusting. What's in here? Poisonous potatoes. Uh, I got some raw pizza bases. That's at least something. Melon, you can't eat raw pizza. <sighs> we gotta talk to Steve. Something's up with his store. Steve, Steve, your store is disgusting. You're selling human fingers and rotted flesh. And even worse, Steve, you've got raw pizza dough. Ugh. Sorry, guys, but the local delivery guy didn't show up this week, so I had to provide for my own food. Oh, no. Melon, we're stuck with raw pizza. Oh, that's disgusting. Maybe Sunshine has some better food. True. She runs a nice bakery across town. Uh, Sunny, Sunshine's kind of crazy about you. Maybe you should go in and get food for the both of us. Oh, I can handle that. Don't you worry. I will smooth and sweet talk her. <clears throat> well, hello there, darling Sunshine. Ah, uh, Sunny Poo, what can I do for you? Well, you see, I'm really quite hungry. And I know you run the bakery here, so I was hoping you could spare some food. What are you talking about? This isn't a bakery. This is a library. Look at the bookshelves. Oh, you're right. It's Alex who runs the bakery. <sighs> Sadly, yeah, I don't have any food. I'm only selling books and dirt today. Sorry, but I can't help you. Dang it! Melon! She only sells books and dirt! Ugh, well, Sonny, maybe Quandale's got some food. Good idea. And if he doesn't have grub, he's probably got some fancy doohickey in his laboratory that can make us some food. Yeah, or just fill our stomach straight up. Bro, that would be weird. Hey, Quandale, do you have any doohickeys that can fill our stomachs up? Uh, Melon, uh, let me rephrase that for you. Quandale, do you have any food? Food, we could really use a bite to eat. I can't help you with that. I'm all out of supplies anyways. My delivery guy never showed up. Wait, what? Your delivery guy didn't show up too? Melon, I got a bad feeling the town's running out of supplies. Yeah, I think we all depend on that one delivery man. So, Quandell, you got that doohickey? Get out of my lab. I need to think of a solution. Ugh, fine, Quandell. We'll just go out here and starve then. Well, Melon, it was worth a try. If only he had that gadget that could fill our stomachs up. Wait a second. Sonny, that gives me an idea. What are you thinking, Melon? What if we use the creative ink doohickey to access creative mode and make us the best shop in the village? That's a brilliant idea. I forgot we stole the creative machine from Quandale. Yep, it's just upstairs. <laughs> and he'll never know. <laughs> we could keep all the food for ourselves. Let's go. And we could build the best shop ever to supply the town with everything they need. And you know what the best shop ever is called, Sonny? Uh, the human finger shop with the rotten meat? No, that's disgusting. It's called 7-Eleven. <gasps> I love that convenience store. I just gotta find my emeralds. They should be downstairs, Sonny. Here they are, 23 emeralds and 12 diamonds. That should be enough to buy us creative mode for at least one hour. Come on, Sonny, put it in the creative ink doohickey. Let's go. It worked! I've got creative! 
And now, Sonny, it's time to build the secret 7-Eleven below our base. You're an absolute mad lad. I like it. I say we start building right here. Come down with me, Sonny. Whoa! This room looks perfect! I can't believe this was just underneath our house the whole time. Yep. And now, Sonny, it's time to decorate. And I'm thinking we should use something kind of cheery like the holidays. So I'm gonna go to the concrete and use green and red, like Santa Claus. I like it, Sonny. It also kind of fits the 7-Eleven theme. Oh, true. That is part of their logo, isn't it? Now let's start building, Sonny. Oh, I'm way ahead of you, broski. I'm putting the trim down. Melon, what, what are you doing? Dude, this is another trim, bro. Stop building over my trim. No, your trim goes after my trim like this, obviously. Oh my goodness, you're so annoying sometimes. No, that was literally your own fault because I'm installing the green trim, bro. We need red, white, and green. Everyone knows that's the 7-Eleven colors. And if you don't build this perfectly, we won't be able to get extra large Slurpees. Oh no, I want extra large Slurpees so bad. I'm so hungry, even though I'm in creative mode. And lottery tickets. If we buy lots of those, we might be able to get rich. And with that money, we could buy infinite creative mode. Oh my goodness. That means infinite big Slurpee cup. Oh yeah. Whoa, Sonny, this place is looking pretty awesome, I gotta say. It's so colorful and welcoming, it just makes me want to buy some Slurpees. Oh, I know. And just imagine, behind the counter, there's fresh, warm pizza and glizzies. Oh, I've never wanted a glizzy so bad, Sonny. Think about it, it's a turntable spinning a nice Fresh wiener schnitzel. I love wiener, Sonny! Wait, what did you find? I don't know, Sonny. I just hit this wall because I love Glizzy so much, and it revealed another room! No way. Don't tell me! This 7-Eleven has perfectly conveniently placed walls that behind each of them is a whole new room! Sonny, we've got to expand our 7-Eleven. This is incredible. One of these can be a restaurant, another can be a Slurpee, area, and another could be just for hot, fresh glizzy dogs! Let's do it, Sonny! I'm gonna decorate this place so hard! Many Many minutes later. Melon, it's almost completed. Our expensive area shop. Because if we want to get rich off of our store, we got to sell more than just food. Yeah, we've got to have aquariums and even cool armor. Melon, did you say aquariums? Look at this. Fresh salmon and cod. No way. That's so cool. And Melon, did you say cool armor? Wait, uh, you're Melon. I'm Sunny. I'm confused. Sunny, I was talking in the third person. But check it out. Boom. Night. Metal armor bro once we're back in survival mode that thing costs a ton whoever buys that's gonna be totally rich and then we'll be totally rich but it's not as expensive as this heck god armor are you kidding me bro i've never seen pink armor in my life that deserves a 7-eleven flag yeah alex is gonna be so jealous of our armor shop yo you even got netherite bro we're gonna be rich but now we need to have the food area true melon let's go finish up the rest of these builds but first I want to admire my sword shops and, most importantly, the bazook. What about your cool models of the end, Sonny? Yeah, but those are not for sale. Those are for display only. This is going to make us rich. For the low price of 64 emeralds, you can get one bazooka. That will be cool. But not as cool as the food! Now I just got to place the last few cake flavors. Boom, 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 bada bing, apple cake, carrot cake, and finally, the most elusive, most expensive, most exotic cake of them all. What is this melon? The melon cake! Move! Are you joking me? When you said you were gonna go make the food area, I thought you were gonna do what we agreed and just put hot dogs as far as the eye could see. Bro, this can be the cake and hot dog area. Get to deploy those glizzies. No way, bro. You think this is a good combination? Uh, I think anything's a good combination. It's Minecraft, Sonny. All right. Who wants fresh customized cakes with their hot dog? And Sonny, you could totally have this cake. There's nothing wrong with it. Which cake? Nice try. Anyways, we've got all this food, but we need a nice area for people to eat. Oh, 
Let's build a cafeteria! Ah, Sonny, we put in the work, we put in the hours, and now we've made our cafeteria. Technically, we did not put in the hours, we put in the minutes, because we have 14 minutes left of Creative Mode Inc. We gotta go quick. Oh, dang it, Sonny, we better hurry up! The only problem with this place is we might have a really nice cafeteria, but we have no employees! How are our customers gonna buy anything? Oh my goodness, Sonny, you're right! What are we gonna do? I've got an idea. All I need to do is place a sign down right over here saying now hiring we pay great totally not one dollar uh do you think this is gonna work sonny no way that actually worked let's go we don't need to hire any more staff oh that is perfect uh sonny what should we do with our final room though funny you should ask melon what is it that we like most out of all on minecraft uh i don't know i like playing video games and watching tv yes so that's exactly the type of products we should sell <gasps> You're right! Check it out, Sonny. I'm gonna have a TV display from smallest all the way to the largest! Melon, those all look like the same size. Nah, it's definitely a little bit bigger as it goes up. You know what? I like it. And check this out. It's gonna be huge! What the heck? How did you even get a monitor that big? I even got this awesome computer and this awesome computer. Okay, Sonny, I gotta admit it. That's pretty cool. I know. I I got the best gaming setup in the world, and now we can sell them to the whole town! Oh no, Sonny, our creative mode, it just ran out! Dang it! It even cleared my inventory! Really? I still have all my stuff. No, they're gone! Well, at least we made the most of it while it lasted. Now all we have to do is wait for our customers to show up. Come to think of it, Sonny, how is anyone gonna find this place? It's literally secret and hidden underneath our house. Oh, you have a pretty good point there. Maybe there's a lineup at our front door. Let's head home. Dude, there's no way there's a lineup. That would make no sense. Oh, I bet they're all outside. Wait a second. These don't look like customers. Why is the whole town here? Sonny, I can't believe you're right. They're actually lined up to come to our 7-Eleven. Ha, so it's true. You did build your own store. Yeah, what's the big deal? We thought the town could use somewhere new to shop at. I'll tell you what the big deal is. You stole my Creative Mode Inc. machine. Uh, Quandale, how did you know that? I got an alert on my computer that it was activated in your house. I sent a friend of mine to check it out, and he told me that you built a secret 7-Eleven underneath your house, and you are not even paying your workers. Whoa, whoa, Quandale, that's not true. Our workers got a one-time payment of one dollar. It's totally not one dollar. What is this? I'm gonna blow up your store. You really don't have to do that, bro. It's okay. Uh, Melon? I don't think this guy was trolling. What's that sound? Sonny, it sounds like it's coming from our 7-Eleven! I think it's coming from underneath us! Well, it looks like that's the end of our shop. Uh, yeah, and our house. And the whole town. But it's not the end of our channel. Make sure you press that like button and subscribe for daily uploads. Do it now! Today in Minecraft, a brand new store popped up in our village. It was gonna run Steven Quandell out of business, so we had to take matters into our own hands. We thought it was gonna be a quick demolition, but it turns out the owner of the new store is Melon's evil twin, Pumpkin! He ended up trapping us inside and toying with us! Yo, goats, we've got to find a way out of here, so please press that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you do, it'll power us up to turn Pumpkin into a pie! Whoa, it worked! Thanks, goats! Melon, hurry up! Run faster! I'm starving, bro, and we need more groceries! Oh, bro, you don't know the half of it. I feel like I could eat the whole grocery store. Wait, Quandale, what are you doing at Steve's grocery store? Something terrible has happened. My store is closed. Uh, why, Steve? You are the only source of food in the entire town. What do you mean, why? That store down in the village that opened a few days ago ruined my business. No one wants to go to my shop anymore. What do you mean, the other store? There's somewhere else we could get groceries. He ruined my store, too. No one wants to buy my gadgets anymore. What? Quandale, this guy is selling doohickeys as well? Yeah, now go destroy the whole store, please, so we can get back to business. Uh, 
Quandale, doesn't that seem a little immoral? And plus, what's in it for us, guys? We'll give you a percentage of our shops. Does that work with you, Quandale? Deal. We'll give you 10% of the money we make. Ha <laughs> ha. You've got yourselves a deal. Melon, let's go wreak havoc. Yes, let's burn this new store to the ground so we can make money. That's right. We'll have 10% of Quandale's shop and 10% of Steve's. We're gonna be rich. Whoa, Melon, check it out. Here's the new store they were talking about. Dude, it doesn't even have a name. What kind of store is this? Yeah, but Melon, look at how huge it is. It's a mega store. Yeah, and we're gonna burn it to the ground because they're selling pumpkins. Ew. Wait, Melon, uh, it looks like it's your other brother, Pumpkin, who's running the shop. No, no, no! Sonny and my stupid bro, Melon, what are you guys doing here? Well, actually, we were sent here on a mission to completely trash the place because you ran Quandale and Steve out of business. We know you're up to something. What evil deeds did you do? What do you mean, what am I planning? Can't I open a successful store? Are you interested in buying something? Sorry, but we are currently almost sold out of everything. You know, the store has been doing pretty well. Pumpkin, you're a capitalist monster. What about the small family-owned shops? And also, Melon, I don't think we should sabotage him. He's in a league of his own. Honestly, this place looks kind of awesome. Maybe we can get a family discount, and it'll be even better than 10% on Quandale and Steve's shop. Yeah, plus, Sonny, we're the only people that buy stuff stuff from Quandale's and Steve's shop. So... Oh my gosh, you're right! It would be like we're losing money! Alright, Pumpkin, can I get a family discount? Sure, bro. Head to the garage room for a special present. No charge. <gasps> I knew it! Pumpkin's actually the best! Thanks, bro! Let's go check out that gift. <sighs> bro, family discounts are awesome. Wait a second, Sonny. This isn't food. To be fair, I don't think he ever promised it would be food. He just said there's a gift! And it looks like he's giving us a tractor, a jeep, ooh, and a little go-kart. No way! Pumpkin's actually the best! Pum Pumpkin! You are the freaking goat, my dude! <laughs> you idiots! I can't believe you actually fell for that! <laughs> I can't stop laughing! <laughs> Wait, what do you mean fell for that? Fell for what? All we did was check out your gift. You gave us a truck and a go-kart and a tractor. It was actually really nice of you. No, no, I'm not giving you those vehicles. Those are mine. Instead, I'm gifting you a 100-day challenge inside of this grocery store. Well, bro, why don't we just leave? Take a look at the entrance. Melon! Melon, look! <gasps> Oh no, he blocked it off. Oh, oh, there's gotta be another exit, right, Sonny? Yeah, right. <laughs> nope, there's no other exits. Dang it, Pumpkin! Okay, well, what kind of game are we forced to play, Pumpkin? How can we get out of here? Okay, okay. This time, I just want to have some fun with you. I knew you idiots would come because my store was overrunning Quandales and Steve's. So now, we're gonna play a game. Alright, for your first challenge, I have a shopping list. And I want you to acquire every single one of these items. Also, if you don't do it in 10 minutes, I'll kill you. Melon, where's the shopping list? I got it! I got it! Turns out, we need carved pumpkin signs, orange dye, pumpkin pie, melon block. Oh, melon! We gotta split up and cover more ground! Okay, Sonny. Sonny, I'll get the carved pumpkins. Uh, oh, where are they? Carved pumpkins. And Melon, grab signs and orange dye. I'm gonna grab a lever real quick. Die, die, die. I got the orange dye. Don't worry about it. Carve pumpkins. Carve pumpkins. Where are they? I found them. Carved pumpkins. How many did he want? Yeah, uh, it doesn't say, but I'm, I'm guessing three. All right, I got him three carved pumpkins. Nice work. He also wants pumpkin pie and three signs. I'll grab the signs. I'll just break these. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Where's the pumpkin pie? Dang it! I got the three signs. I'll look for the next item on the shopping list. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, melon blocks and pistons. Oh, I got the piston right here. And I've got the pumpkin pie. All we need now is a melon block. Bro, but how are we gonna get that? If we break a melon, it'll just become melon slices. Yeah, so obviously he's gotta have a chest full of them somewhere. Ah, uh, melon! I can't can't find any chests with watermelons! I'm sorry! No! Stop it! Stop it! There's gotta be another way! Wait a second, what's this? Golden pickaxe with silk touch! I can actually collect these wanders! No 
freaking way. Sonny, we actually did it. We completed his list. And I think we should bring it back to him quickly. We only have one minute left. Pumpkin, Pumpkin, we got everything. Wow, good job. You guys actually did it. So now what? Now, I want you to place down those three signs. Place the first one in the middle, and it should say R. Okay, I gotcha. We'll make this the middle block here. R. Or should it be like A-R-E? Uh, I think like A-R-E, Sonny. I think that's what he means. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, now the one on the right should say idiots. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Idiots. R idiots. Are idiots here? Oh, that's probably what you want is here. Uh, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> Now the one on the left will say we. Wait, wait, what the heck? We're not idiots. We are idiots. Wait, 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 wait. No, Mello, we're not idiots. Oh, no. He got me. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> uh, whatever, pumpkin. What about the rest of these items? What are they for? Well, I just really like pumpkins and anything related to pumpkins. You're serious. So I collected orange because it's orange. Watermelons because these are your cousins. Ugh. Disgusting. What does a piston have to do with pumpkins? Well, it starts with the letter P. Plus, you can use them on the watermelon. Place the melon block down, then place a piston facing above it. Then activate that piston with the lever. You know what? I actually can get behind this one. Uh, wait. What are you guys doing? No. Sonny! Sonny! Don't do it! Do it! <laughs> no! Four to six weeks later. Please, Pumpkin. It's been more than 42 days. Let us out of here. Oh, no, boys. We're doing this 100 days challenge, and I can't let you out until those 100 days are up. Well, can we at least stop doing shopping lists? It's the 100 day challenge, not the 100 list challenge. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of over this grocery store. I'm just gonna get out of here. Good luck on the challenge, though. <sighs> Sonny, this guy actually left us. Is he even gonna come back for us after 100 days? Bro, he better come back here. Someone's gotta remove this bedrock. Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck here forever. Sonny, have we not even looked for another way out yet? We kind of just took him for his word. Yeah, and we were doing all of his shopping lists, so we were pretty well distracted. But now that he's gone, I think we should look around this place. Perhaps there is another exit. Inspect it very thoroughly, Sonny. Melon, I think I found one. Did you actually? Uh, never mind. It's just the gardening area. Bro, don't get me excited like that. There's gotta be something somewhere here. Yeah, I'm looking for a secret way out, but I can't find anything. Mm. Maybe in the garage somewhere, Sonny? Oh, I can see freedom. It's so close, yet so far. Wait a second, Melon. What are these vehicles on top of? There's something sus here in the middle. It looks like a trap door. Wait, no way. No way. All we've got to do is move these vehicles. Uh, Melon, there's no fuel in them. We got to find some gas. Are you kidding me? There's got to be some gasoline in the grocery store, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, or maybe somewhere in this garage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Why is it just music blocks? Sonny, I can't find any gasoline. But I did find some punching bags. Sonny, come over here. I've got an idea. What is it, Melon? If we train hard enough, we can get strong enough to lift the vehicles up by hand and move them out of the way. You're absolutely right, bro. It's time to train. <laughs> and what better way to train than on a watermelon? <laughs> I'm a dog! I'm a dog! That's it. It's leg day! Squat, 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 squat! Backflip! I'm doing a full body cardio. I'm gonna be so strong after this. Several days later. Whoa, Sonny, you look so jacked right now. Same for you, bro. Those muscles are crazy. <laughs> right on, bro. Let's go move those cars. I'll get the tractor. And I'll get the whole car. Nice one, bro. I'm gonna throw these in Pumpkin's grocery store like I care. Eat it, bro! Yeah. And now, we're gonna get the heck out of here. But, Sonny, it's an iron trap door. How are we gonna open it? It's easy, bro. I'll just move this vehicle and go grab a lever. Eat this, pumpkin! Yeah. See how he likes working the customer service desk now. One lever. I've got it right here. Yo, 
Let's dip, Sonny. There's actually a secret exit. I knew it. I'm right behind you, broski. But it's never as easy as it looks. It's always some kind of lava parkour or some kind of trap, Sonny. I know. Why is it always got to be so difficult to escape these places? So you're planning to leave, huh? Well, good luck. What the heck? Pumpkin can see us? Ugh. Sonny, I, I got a really bad feeling about this. And what's up with all these levers? Flickety, flickety, flick. I don't think they do anything, Sonny. I I think we've got to do this parkour. But there's something weird going on here, Melon. What's up with all these redstone links? This one's got yellow blocks. This one has pink. Or is that magenta? I don't really know. Orange. Blue. Hmm. You're actually right, Sonny. Something weird is going on here. And Melon, I can't go any farther. This is the limit. Wait a second, bro. Back in the grocery store, there was an entire shelving unit with redstone links and another one with all these concrete blocks. So, we need need gray and we need pink. It's the only way we can proceed in the obstacle course. Gray and pink. Are you sure about that? I mean, those are the only two that are missing blocks right now. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let me go check this code. I'm going to go back up there really quick. All right, Sonny, what color do I need again? Let's start with gray. Okay. Got two of those. Yep. And I'm backing off just in case something weird happens to my obstacle block. And then what's the other color I need? Uh, let me check. It it's pink, but, but don't, don't press them yet. Wait, wait. Give me a heads up before you press them. Wait, what do you mean press what? Oh my gosh. I gotta do everything myself. I'm coming up there. Melon, melon, melon. It's like this. You take the gray blocks here. You take the pink blocks here. And you go and grab yourself some redstone link receiver majiggies. Like this. Oh, I got you, Sonny. Now I know what to do. Then I click it like uh you know what? I'm just going to go down there with the levers. And you know what? Just in case we need them, I'm going to grab every single color block. Now, let's see about this. Do we need every color or just the last two? I'm going to go ahead and put yellow in here and flick it. Whoa. Sonny, I think I get how this thing works. Okay. Next color is magenta. It's working. Okay, I'll give you the rest of the colors, Melon. And then you put them under the levers. I'll go check the rest of the code. Sounds like a plan, Sonny. Big jump. All right, we need orange. Orange, here we go. Didn't work, Sonny, I don't think. It did, I heard it. Okay, I didn't hear it. Then we need blue. Blue, yep, blue was there. Nice one. Then we need gray. But it's like the dark gray material, the one that actually looks like it'd be dark gray. Okay, dark gray. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I got you. I think I got you. Boom! It worked! And then the last one's pink! Come on, activate it! Oh, yeah, Sonny, hold on. I'll be right back. I gotta grab a redstone link. Oh, my goodness. This is embarrassing. All right, Sonny, I've got the link. And here we go! Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry, I didn't even put the blocks in. That is my bad. Yeah, we need pink there, please. Boom, boom, boom! It worked! worked! We should be able to use this entire parkour to get across. You're dang right we can, Sonny. I'm going off! Let's go. Uh, we're, uh, we're stuck. Uh, you know what? I did see a bow and arrow in the grocery store. I'll be right back. Turns out after doing over 100 shopping lists, we're still not very good at it. Hey, Melon, can you see if we need anything else from the grocery store? Uh, hold up. Let me look around. Um, because I found the bow and arrow. We got those at least. You know what? I'm going to grab some code breakers just in case. It's not a bad idea, Sonny, but I think we're good now. I'm going to also punch out some watermelons for fun. No, don't. Don't you dare! All right, I won't do it. I would never do that. I would never do that. Never. All right, good. Thank you, Sonny. All righty, Melon. I've got the bow and arrow. All right. That is not a bow and arrow! What have you done? No, 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 no. I, I, it's, it's fine, bro. Look. You were seeing things. Relax. It was a mirage. You've been in this grocery store too long. Oh, maybe you're right, Sonny. <gasps> Whoa. No way. Go, Melon. Go. Yo, we're finally getting out of here. Oh, give me this emerald armor. Oh, my. Sonny. No, it was in both of the chests, bro. I've got some in mine, too. Relax. No, 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 no. You, you murdered the watermelons. I saw you put them in there. Yeah, that's Cap. Die! No, no, we can talk about this! Don't kill me! I won't kill you, Sonny, because I feel bad for you. Oh, really? Why? Um, that's actually a good point. Die! No! 
<sighs> Melon, even death can't get us out of this grocery store. We need to work together, please. All right, Sonny. Let's get the heck out of this place. Yep, just putting my armor on. And what do you think this last passcode is? Uh, probably nothing. Oh, no. It's something, all right. Wait, Melon, I've got an idea. What if we use code breakers? Yes. Oh. <gasps> Wait a second, Sonny, you mad genius. Maybe, just maybe this will work. You gotta flick it back on now. Oh yeah, you're right. No way! I think that was the bedrock breaking. Sonny, we've gotta get out of here. Let's dip! Sonny, freedom, I can taste it. Yes, the barriers, they're down. Let's go, we're finally going home. Uh, pumpkin? Leaving so soon? Why don't you stay in? You still have 30 days left. Oh no, Sonny, Sonny, he's really mad. Take him out. I'm with you, bro. Slice and dice, and I'm gonna turn him into a porcupine. Oh, oh, sorry, Melon, sorry, Melon, sorry, Melon. Pumpkin, bro, you messed up by giving us this emerald armor. You're done for now. You stole my emerald armor. How could you? Of course we stole it, bro. We found your secret hideout under the grocery store. Now you're done for. Come on. You've got to be dead soon. Yes. Let's go. <sighs> it's just a shame he can respawn because it's Minecraft. Yeah, so we'll probably see him again soon doing something annoying. But for now, shouldn't we go collect our 10% from Quandale and Steve? Well, Sonny, we didn't burn down the store just yet. Now we've destroyed the store. Just like you should destroy that like and subscribe button. Press them now. Today in Minecraft, we got stuck inside of a supermarket for 24 hours. Sonny, I checked everywhere and there's no way to get out. At least we have all of these yummy snacks. Attention LB Mart shoppers. Lava will be dispensed from the ceiling. Quickly, goats. Like the video right now to open the door and get us out of here. Three, two, one. Yes! Oh, I'm so hungry. Food, food, food. I need something to eat. I need something to eat. Wait, the fridge is empty. No, but I'm so hungry. Hey, Sonny. I'm thinking I'm gonna go rescue some melons from the supermarket if you wanna come with me. Wait, you're gonna go to the supermarket? That's perfect timing because we're all out of food and I'm starving. Sweet, we can go slaughter some cows, save some melons and eat some meat. Yeah. Yeah, meat and melons is the perfect combination. Because I'm not eating this vegetable. Are you crazy? Get this out of here. All right, Sonny, follow me. We got the whips lined up. Let's do this. I'll race you, bro. You're going to lose, Sonny. I've never lost a race once in my life. Yeah, right. See ya. <laughs> What the heck? You got a false star. You cheated. You cheated. <laughs> my car is just faster. Eat my dust. No. Shortcut. Dang it. He knows the oldest tricks in the books. Hey, we're almost at the supermarket already. Bro, LB Mart. This is a giant grocery store. Why is it so empty? I know, bro. I guess it's a holiday or something. Whatever. We got premium parking. Yeah, I ain't gonna complain. Let's go. Oh, pumpkins $4.95. What a scam. I'm not paying $4.95 for a pumpkin. Hey, Melon, what do you think the LB stands for? Lucky blocks? Hmm, lucky blocks. Long bottoms. <laughs> Imagine long bottoms, bro. That's ridiculous. Yeah, right. Why would he have any interest in grocery stores? This is definitely the lucky block supermarket. Yeah, or Loblaws. One of those two. Yeah, you're right. Now, where are the melons? <gasps> I found the melons. Don't worry. I'm here to rest. You. I've got my silk touch shears and I'll save all of you. No evil man will come and eat you. Hey, Melon, let me help. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Sonny? What is wrong with you? Stop. I'm rescuing. I'm rescuing the melons too. Look, look. No, Sonny, Sonny, stop. Stop it, Sonny. Stop it. Ow, dude, that hurts. That hurts. Relax. Get out of here. Oh, there's Cheetos and Doritos. These chips look tasty. No! I saved the melon! Sonny, you're actually a murderer. Whenever you find something precious that you love and you hold dear, I'm gonna murder it right in front of you. Well, I really love my brother and best friend, Big Man Melon. <laughs> actually died, bro. Chill. How does that feel, Sonny? I mean, pretty good. You're the one who had to die, not me. Whatever, bro. Can't be helped. I really gotta go poop, though. I'm out of here. Oh my god, I gotta poop. 
Holy crap. Where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom? I'm just gonna browse the supermarket. You have fun with that. There's so many cool gadgets and gizmos. Oh, we got a spyglass. What are these? Honeycombs? Oh, they even have code breakers in here. That's cool. <gasps> Oh, okay. Woman, man, man. I need to go into man's bathroom. Which one do I use? These are all occupied. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Uh, bro. Uh, bro, you good? I think you ate too many Takis. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that poop sounds fuego. Hot, bro. Ooh, this armor's pretty cool, actually. I'm just gonna wear this hat for a little bit. Yeah, that looks snazzy. Let me go check on Melon, see if he's doing okay in the bathroom. Hey, Melon. How are are you, brother? Get out of here, Sonny! It's not safe! Oh, oh. Ew! Ew! It's disgusting! And wait! What's that alarm? Why is there an alarm going off? <gasps> <gasps> Wait a second, Melon. You took so long. The store closed. We can't mm. get out, bro. It's locked. Sonny, I have bigger concerns. Oh, my God. Bro, you're disgusting. Well, I guess if we're trapped, I might as well use the bathroom, too. Gotta take a load off me. Ah! <gasps> One heart. One heart. Where am I? Melon? Melon, can you hear me? Bro, oh, my God. <sighs> That was a good poop. Melon! Let me just wash my hands. And Sonny, where are you? What was this about the alarms and everything? Sonny. Yo, Melon, dude, I'm down here. I need help, please. We're trapped in the store. What's going on? Sonny, did you use the bathroom? Are you still in here? Sonny. No, you're not in this one. Throw me a rope or something. Melon! Melon! Wait, Sonny, I see you down there. I can see your name. What? No! Why would you drop down? You should have thrown a rope. I didn't hear you, Sonny. All I did was see your name tag. It must be soundproofed in here. Dang it, Melon. Now we're both trapped. That's okay, Sonny. I've got my melons. I've got my shears. And that's all we need to be a-okay. Uh, but how do we get out of here? And more importantly, why is this in a grocery store bathroom? I don't know. It must have been a construction mistake and the blueprints are all wrong. Let's just get the code to this door and leave. One, two, three. Three, four, open. Mm. Dang it! I'm out of ideas. Uh, yeah, you try the trust one, two, three, four, open. Mm. Nope, didn't work. 69? Wow, none of these passwords work. All right, Melon, we're gonna go down the ominous, mysterious hallway. Ah, uh, if it isn't Sonny and that other red guy whose name I keep forgetting, you've fallen right for my trap. It was so obvious. You must complete this parkour or you'll be stuck here forever. Good luck, losers. Melon, no! You were right! This is Dr. Longbottom's grocery store. Dude, we don't know if that was Dr. Longbottom. That could be anybody. No, I am definitely Dr. Longbottoms. Melon, you fool. Okay, whatever. It's Dr. Longbottoms. That means we're in trouble, Sonny. And what we've learned with Dr. Longbottoms is the only way out is through whatever sick game he has planned. Well, let's do it. Also, I'm kind of hungry. Do you have any melons I can eat? Uh, nope. I'll handle the first parkour room, Melon. This will be Ooh. easy. All right, I believe in you. Ow! Good job, Sonny. Why don't you try? Okay, chill, chill. I got this. It's like this. It's like this. All right, there's a barrier block. Hey, Melon, just want you to know Look up. We're surrounded by lava. We're in Long Bottoms' supermarket in the gardening and landscaping section. What the heck? This is really sketchy, Sonny. I think we gotta be very careful about this. Uh, there's some barrier blocks here. So what you're gonna wanna do? Ah! No way. I got this. Yes, I'm in. Dude, hygiene products. Whoa. They've got Tide Pods down there. Yeah, Melon, I'm pretty sure that's gonna kill you if you touch it. Don't fall. Ah! <laughs> okay, note to self, do not touch the Tide Pods. The laundry detergent is very dangerous, Melon. Got this. I got this, though. Uh, where do we go from here? I haven't the slightest clue. Here and then jump? Yeah! Yeah! No way. That was actually pretty easy. Dr. Longbottoms, you're stupid. Now we're in the cheese section. Oh, Sonny, it smells like you. Dude, relax, dude. You're the one who was dropping big taquito cheese farts. Listen, man, I unloaded everything that was inside of me. There is nothing left in this melon, let me tell you. That is disgusting. Not even one melon seed, because your brain is pretty stupid. Hey, that's not cool, Shani. Melons have feelings, too. And then he makes the jump like the real goat. Shortcut. <laughs> Ow! And I make the jump like the real goat, because my name is Melon. Yeah, 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 whatever, big man Melon. When you need some assistance to get out of this place, I won't be there for you! This is for Jeremy! 
Oh, you didn't come up. Can you can you come a little closer? This is for Jeremy! Who's Jeremy? The melon you slaughtered in cold blood. Hey Don't slip into the portal, melon. Hey yeah! Oh, I got this. That looked easy. This grocery store is getting weird, Sonny. They've got an end portal in here. Yeah, and I don't want to touch it. <gasps> yes, I'm through. Oh, oh, uh, oh, that's good water. Thank God it's not poisonous. I really thought Dr. Longbottoms did something sussy there. Yeah, he's always up to something weird. How are you supposed to make that jump? Carefully, Melon. Very carefully, like this. See ya. How'd you do that? Oh... Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Now what do we do? I, I, chill, chill, chill! Or I'll destroy these melons in here. No, 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 Sonny. It's okay, we can talk about it. So, Sonny, what you're gonna want to do on this stage is you want to hit on a beat. Huh! Oh, cleared it. First try. Dang it. This must be where they grow the melons, Sonny. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> no! What is wrong with you? Say goodbye to little Albert. That wasn't little Albert. His name was Malone. Oh, that's the worst music disc in all of Minecraft. What is wrong with you? He made it himself. He's an artist and a pioneer for all melons. And I'm getting out of this grocery store. That's all I care about. I, ah. And then you go hit him with the one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four. I need some more. Let's go. Wait, how did you do that? I'm so confused. You just jump here? Oh, there's a secret barrier. And... Now we're in the ore section. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, this is the miners club. This is where you get the pickaxes and extra gemstones. Yeah, Sonny, I think I see the end. It's so close. Not to interrupt your guys rambling, but there's only one minute left. Good luck. There's only one minute left. Sonny, we have to hurry up before this lava falls on us. Go, go, go. Move it, move it, move it. I'm right behind you. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. We must escape the village. Oh, that was not the way to escape the village. My bad. <sighs> Melon, the clock's ticking. Stop messing around. I'm not trying to mess around. Ay! I have half a heart. This is not good. Uh, Melon, just eat the melon slices. It is my code of honor. I will never cannibalize. Stop punching me. I'm trying to escape. I don't want to burn in the lava. Oh, I can't even run anymore, Sonny. Uh, I think you're going to have to eat the melon slice. A small sacrifice for melon kind. I'll make it out of this. I'm sorry, Jeremiah. How do I go anywhere? Bro, there's only 10 seconds. Focus up. I can make it out. I can make it out. Yes. Melon, there's only three seconds left. <gasps> Look out, Sonny. The, the lava's coming down. Go. Yo. Bro. I could have gotten cooked. Melon, we escaped. We're gonna get out of this grocery store. Why is there a special loyalty quiz? What the heck is going on, Sonny? Welcome, Welcome to the, the LB Mart, Mart special, special loyalty, loyalty quiz. quiz. We, we value, value you for being, for being our, our finest, finest customers. customers. Please, Please agree, agree to, to the, the terms, terms and conditions, conditions of this quiz by, by pressing, pressing the green, green button. button. Melon, don't mm. press the green button, whatever you do. Why would you agree to the terms of the quiz? Uh, I don't know, Sonny. I was scared. Question one. Does LB Mart have the most competitive prices while maintaining excellent customer service and keeping the utmost satisfaction with our valued customers? No, not at all. This is extremely inconvenient and you trapped us. No. I'm afraid no is not an option. Please press yes or else lava will be dispensed from the ceiling. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean it. Bro, I don't think this quiz is very fair. Uh, well, we don't really have a choice, Sonny. We've got to lie if we want to get out. Question two. Is our CEO, Dr. Dr. Longbottom's the smartest, smartest most, most handsome, and most, most genius evil scientist, scientist on this planet? Bro, these questions suck. The answer's obviously no, but I bet if we press the red button, it's gonna tell us lava will kill us. Sonny, this is how all surveys work. They don't actually make any factual or logical sense. Just lie and press what they want to hear. No, I no. won't lie. Dr. Longbottom's is ugly, evil, and mean. No. If you do not respond with a valid answer, 10,000 melons will be burned to a, to a crisp in the next, next two to three, three business, business days. Wait! No! No, 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 Yes, 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 yes! Dang it, Melon! We should have just let him cook. What is wrong with you, Sonny? It's not worth it. Question three. Are Sonny and Melon the two dumbest individuals for falling for this obvious trap? Uh, obviously not. It was a fluke. We are actually geniuses, right, Sonny? Let's go! Sorry, that isn't a correct answer. If you do not provide a correct answer, your faces will be revealed on screen to all the viewers in five, four, 
<gasps> that was too close. That was way too close. If people saw what's under the melon, Ryan, I don't know if they'd watch us anymore, Sonny. Yeah, you're right. You are hideous under that thing. And you're even more disgusting under your sunglasses. Anyways, the survey's done. Let's just continue on, all right, Sonny? Congratulations. Congratulations. You have you passed, passed our loyalty, loyalty bonus, bonus plus, plus pro quiz. quiz. Your, prize your prize is at, at the, the end, end of this hallway. hallway. Make, Make sure, sure to find, to find the, the generator, generator so, you so you can turn, turn it on and open, and open, open the, doors the doors to leave. This, this place, place will explode in 24 hours. Wait, it's gonna explode in 24 hours? Sonny, we don't have time to waste. We gotta move, we gotta move. I'm right behind you, dude. Get the code. 1712. Uh, okay. So now we know the code. How are we supposed to get back there? I don't know, but I'm taking these blocks just in case. Whoa, Melon, you just found the secret exit. Whoa. 1712, Sonny. Stone button. Wait a second. Can we use the stone button here, you think? Hold on, let me try the 1712. Okay, we're gonna need that stone button. Wait, Sonny, Sonny, Sonny. If you look here, there's actually a command block. Whoa. Uh, I don't see where else we can put this button, Sonny. I'm just gonna go for it. And Calabazinga! Wait, Sonny! Sonny, I'm going up! I'm going all the way up! Wait, Melon, I'm joining you! Bro, the button doesn't do anything for me! Sonny, I'll find something like a rope to get you up here! Actually, Melon, I have a better idea. In the supermarket, there's code breakers. Can you just throw one down here? I'll open the door up. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Hold on, let me go find one. Code breaker, code breaker. Oh, I found them. Thank you very much, Dr. Longbottoms. And here you go, my friend, Sonny. Thanks, Melon. That's just the item I need. Open up, please. Dang it! I need another one. You need an- Oh my god. You know what, Sonny? I'm just gonna grab the whole wall. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. Can you throw some melon slices down while you're at it? No. Uh, and here you go. Oh, I almost fell. Code breakers. Here you go. Thanks. That's enough. That's enough. That's good. That's tons. No, are you sure? It opened on the first try this time. <laughs> well, just in case you need it later on. Alright, let's see where this hallway takes me. I don't don't like this melon. It drops deeper. I'm going for it. Ow. Wait a second. How am I in the nether? Melon. Melon, can you hear me? Yo, Sonny. I need you to grab some armor for us and jump down and help me, please. But then I won't be able to get back up. It's fine. It's for your best pal. Trust me. It's the only way out of here or everything's going to explode and we both die. I think I could save myself. Honestly, Sonny, I think I can see a way out of here that only a melon could squeeze through. Bro, just just bring me weapons and armor, please. Okay, well, do you want pickaxe? Do you want a sword? Do you want a shovel? Do you want an axe? All of it. Just bring everything and the most powerful gear you can find. Okay, this looks pretty strong. That looks pretty strong. Because we have to go through the nether. This place looks creepy. Sonny, I'm getting a lot of different items I've never seen before. I hope they're strong. This is so awesome. Find the armor section. Hold on. Give me a second, Sonny. Bro, just hurry up. There's a muted wither skeleton here. Okay, just chill, just chill. Uh, you want netherite armor or do you want this cool armor? Melon, please! Oh, melon, please! Hurry! Hurry! Oh, this armor looks pretty cool. Stop taking your sweet time! I'm gonna die! Uh, yep, just give me a second, Sonny. Bro, he's looking at me. He's looking at me! Sonny, you're gonna regret it if I rush this, so I'm gonna just, uh, ooh, ooh that's pretty cool. Uh, ooh, flame armor is also pretty cool. Whoa. And boom. I'm on my way, Sonny. I've got all the coolest armor in the land. It's about time, bro. Get down here quick. I'm on my way. Oh, Sonny, I have one code breaker. I really hope this works. Please. Yes! Good. If that had failed, I would have been really mad because you gave me so many. Whoa, there is something mutant down here. Hey, Sonny, I'm gonna give you this armor. It looks pretty cool. Melon, you look crazy. Here, take this. The fiery armor, the fiery sword. Sonny, can you pick it up, please? Dude, you're throwing it on your own feet. What are you doing? Here, take this. Take that. Take this. Take that. Take this. And you should be able to kill him. I'm trying. Ow! Ow! Melon! I'm gonna die. Bro, bro, bro. You dude, you got destroyed. Step aside. The melon will handle this. Yeah, good luck with that, bro. And just gonna have to ask you to die. Pretty please. Yo, he's destroying everything. Okay, he's actually doing damage to me. I may die here. This is scary. Sonny, please help me. Don't worry. I got him. I got him. You keep him distracted, Melon. 
Good work. Good work. Good work. I'll handle it. And die. Yes. He's chasing you. Ow. Ow. Come on. Yes. Yo, we actually did it. With the power of friendship, Sonny, anything's possible. Yeah. Friendship. Totally not overpowered armor from the grocery store. Yep. Because that's where you get your armor. Melon, we've just got to find our way out of here. There's got to be something around here somewhere. What is this? Oh, that's where we came from. But where are we going? I don't know, bro. Uh, There's got to be a door around here somewhere. I'm going to look in this area. Why don't you check the opposite side? All right, all right. I'm checking around. There's got to be a door or a secret. Sonny, I think I found something. It looks like a secret door. Okay, I'm right behind you. I'll go to the secret door. I could do the out. Ow. Dude, you're wearing fiery armor. Stop being such a baby and go in there. I wonder what's behind the secret door. Yo, secret chest. 64 netherite scraps required. For what, bro? I don't know. I guess we really don't have a choice, Sonny. Take this pickaxe. It's time to mine. Whoa. There's tons of netherite scrap, bro. This will be a breeze. Bro, this pickaxe is trash. Oh, I'm sorry, Sonny. Here, take this one. Take this one. Let's see here. Oh, steel leaf. Let me try this boy out. Nope, Melon, it still sucks. No, bro, trust me. Netherite scrap just takes a while to mine. All right, well, I got a piece of it. Now we just need 63 more. Yep, well, we're almost there. I got two. Very good. Melon, we just need three more scraps. Come on. Ooh, we got extras, actually. Dude, let's go. Back to the secret chest. And deposit. Whoa, the chest just sparkled. One blackstone button and one power. Powered latch lever? What the heck does this do? Dude, I've got no idea. But it's gotta do something to help us get out. Sonny, check it out. There's another command block for a button. Yo, you're right. Okay, I'll take the black stone button. You take the regular stone. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. It's working. It's actually working. Sonny, let's go. Let's go. I'll code break this. Go, 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 go. I'm out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Yeah, we're making it all the way up. We actually made it out. I thought we were done for. Yeah, bro, that mutant wither skeleton was so scary. T-minus two minutes, two minutes remaining. remaining. Sonny, we only have two minutes left. We gotta find this generator right now. Ah, ah, dude, the alarms are going off. This supermarket's gonna explode. Come on. Melon, split up and cover more ground. We're running out of time. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's gotta be here somewhere. Come on. Come on. Melon, think carefully. If you were Dr. Longbottoms, an evil villain who set up a booby trap in the men's bathroom, where the heck would you hide? The generator. In the woman's bathroom, Sonny. It's gotta be that. You're right, bro. That's the last place we'd ever go. But Sonny, I don't think I could feel comfortable going in there. Bro, it doesn't matter. We're the only people in the store. Store. There's no ladies around to witness this. Sonny, this bathroom looks a little sus. Yo, I found the generator! Oh, Melon, that's awesome and really cool and I'm happy for us and all. Oh, but I really gotta poop. Hold on, let me use the ladies' room. Sonny, we only have a minute left! Yeah, and I ate Doritos yesterday! <sighs> oh, boy, that was a big one. Sonny, hurry up, dude. 30 seconds remaining. Sorry, one second. Taco Bell. Ooh, ooh. Oh, bro, I gotta flush that. That was tanky. Oh, what was that, Melon? Sorry, what did you say about the timer? Sonny, did you hear that? Hurry up. Yeah, I don't want to be rude. Hold on, let me just clean up after myself. Close these doors, keep the stank in there. And okay, I'm coming down now, Melon. I got the lever. We have plenty of time, don't worry. No, we, we really don't, Sonny. Dude, put it down right now. T minus Five, four, three, okay, two, going, going. one. Self-destruct sequence. Oh, Melon, that was close. Way too close, Sonny. Attention, Attention LB, LB Mark shopper. shopper. Manual, Manual self-destruct self mode activated. activated. Preparing, Preparing for detonation. detonation. Goodbye, Goodbye, Sonny, Sonny and, and uh, the, red the red guy. guy. I, forgot I forgot his name. Bro, no! Make sure you guys like and subscribe to save us! Today in Minecraft, our old gaming computer is broken and we need a new one. But we only have one emerald. We're so poor. So Melon and I teamed up and worked 10 different jobs in order to get rich enough to buy this fancy gaming PC. From doing chores for friends to working as a janitor, pilot, race car driver, and even robbing a bank. These are 10 different ways we tried to get rich in Minecraft. Subscribe and watch until the end to see if we make it. No way. The upgraded Titan Cinema Man 
man. He just gave the speaker man superpowers. Aw, oh, no way. There's a commercial? Bro, it was about to go off. Speed. Efficiency. I am the most powerful computer in the world. My capabilities are limitless. And there is only one left. So I would advise you to purchase them fast. The last price for this supercomputer will be 7,000 emeralds. Go and buy it now. The new PC from AlphaCraft. Melon, do you see this? A super powerful computer that's the best in the world? Bro, I need that. And there's only one left. Sonny, it costs 7,000 emeralds. Luckily, we've been grinding really hard and we have just enough. Actually, Melon, I've been grinding really hard and I have just enough. My emeralds, my emeralds. Wait, what the heck? Why is there only one left? Oh, wait a second, Sonny. Don't you remember when we got into that fight? Bro, I'm obviously the best builder in Minecraft. No chance, Sonny. I literally built our entire house plus our pumpkin patch. First of all, that's Cap. I constructed the house and I rebuild it every video. And this isn't even a pumpkin patch, you idiot. These are your watermelons. Bro, that's Cap. You literally only build the foundation, which is cobblestone. Bro, the only thing you know how to build with is compost. Don't talk to me. You know what, Sonny? We better settle this with a build battle. That's a great idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes! I know just the thing! I'll sacrifice our emeralds for this build battle! Oh, yeah. I forgot. I gave away a thousand emeralds for creative, and this is all we have left! Sonny, this is pretty much all your fault! That's it, Melon! I'm gonna go make some emeralds of my own! All I gotta do is find a fishing rod, and I can live off the fat of the land! I'll be rich in no time! Yeah, you can go fishing, Sonny! I'll yield some good crop! Have fun with that, bro! You'll have to wait for them to grow to sell it. All I gotta do is pull my money out of the sea. Okay, all that's left to do is set up my chair, sit back, relax, and do a little fishing. Two hours later. Oh man, this is so boring and so slow. Where are the fish? Two hours later. Yes, I got one. A raw salmon. All right, I'm tired of fishing. I gotta go sell this. Yes, guys, I'll harvest all this wheat, and then with this, I can make bread, and then I can sell the bread to Alex and then I'll be good. But wait, that only gave me 23 wheat? Oh, I've got to plant like at least probably well, my math is right. One bread is probably worth like half an emerald. So I've just got to grow 10,000 wheat. Uh, guys, this is taking way too long. I've got to find a better way to make money. Maybe Quandale knows. Hello, Quandale. Is there anything I can help you out with? Oh, yeah. Can you take out my trash? That'd be great. I got you, Quandale. No problemo. Give me all this and I'll throw it away for you no problem wait what does this say rotten melon jelly toast he's been eating melons what is wrong with quandale whatever as long as he pays me i don't even care yep and his trash is gone oh alex i got a great deal for you today how about i trade you this raw salmon and you give me 500 emeralds um no i'm good but thanks anyway what do you mean hey quandale i just got rid of your trash that will be 10 emeralds you want me to pay you for taking out my trash yeah pretty much i do. No! Quandale, I saw what you were eating. Rotten melon jelly toast. What is wrong with you? You know you owe me money. You know what? I'll give you one emerald, but it's not for taking out the trash, but to leave me alone. You know what, Quandale? Fine, I'll take it. I really need the money right now. Oh, uh, I really have to resort to potato farming? This sucks. Man, there's gotta be some way I can make money. Oh, like maybe. Hold on, I have a genius idea. I could find a job. Where would I find a job around here. Hold on a second. I started in Panda. We're hiring? Yo, Panda Express, that's perfect. Hello, Panda Express McDonald's worker. I saw your job posting and I want it. You're hired. No one wants to be a janitor here. People drop the stinkiest poops, but luckily for you, you can just start with the trash. Wait, I I'm already starting? Yeah, your shift starts now. Um, uh, all right, I'm on it. Okay, trash number one, pasta, smelly old yogurt, stale potato soup. What are they selling here? You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to empty the rest of the trashes. Spoiled milk. Oh, this is disgusting, bro. Oh, just give me all this. Oh, and I got to throw this out. So here's the thing. Potato farming is just not for me. These things are so boring and dull. They're only good if you fry them, smash them, stick them in a stew. But eating them raw like this, not even baked? Ugh. Anyways, I got a new idea. I'm going to try and sell off my raw salmon to Melanie. Uh, Melanie? 
Wait, what happened? This is just makeup. Don't worry. I'm totally not Steve. You know what? It's fine. I'm not questioning anything right now. All I need is emeralds. Please pay me for this fish. It smells good, I promise. Ew, that thing smells rotten. How long have you been holding on to it? All day. What? That's disgusting, Sonny. What's wrong with you? This is the last thing I want. What I really want is pizza. So if you can grab one from Panda Express, I'll give you five emeralds. Melanie, that's a deal. Five emeralds to pick up a pizza. I'm on it. Or, or should I call you Steve? Whatever you want, Sonny, it's fine. All right, Steve. Stephen-y, let's go. Here it is, Panda Express. And wait a second, I started in Panda? We're hiring? No way! Forget Melanie's five emeralds. I can get a full-on job. Let's go. Oh man, this trash is so disgusting, bro. I can't believe it. Guys, what is Melon doing here? And he was mumbling about taking out the trash. Anyways, on to the job interview. I'm here because you're hiring and I want to be rich. Not a problem. We can hire you for a job. We need a new delivery guy. Oh, delivery? That's perfect. I know someone who's waiting on their pizza. Yeah, it's Stevenie. Perfect. I'll drop that pizza off pronto. Do, 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 do. First day on the new job. Let's go. I even get a whole uniform. Wait, Sonny? What the heck, bro? Why are you the delivery guy? I gotta drop off this pizza, Melon. I don't got time for you. Because <laughs> you're just a stanky old janitor. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you why am i the janitor and he's the delivery guy i don't know dang it melanie steve stevenie whoever you are i got your pizza delivery right here thanks so much sonny here's your payment plus tip <gasps> thank you i need my bag again though have a great day 32 emeralds the pizza only cost 20 that means i got an extra 12 emeralds all for me i just gotta drop off the payment owed to the cash register here you go 20 emeralds Ooh, but i gotta use the bag bathroom. It's an emergency. <laughs> oh, I am going to light this place up. I'm going to drop the biggest poop you've ever seen. Ah! All right, Melon, can you go clean the bathroom? Someone did a nasty poop. Oh, come on, dude. That's disgusting. I can't believe I have to do this while Sonny gets to deliver pizzas. Ah, all in a day's work. Sonny? You're telling me you're the one that ripped the nasty poop? Uh, no, no, it was the villager. It was the villager. Go look for yourself. First, you take my job. Then, you make me clean up your poop. That's it. You're done. Wait, Melon, I'm sure being the janitor pays well. You probably get awesome tips, like me. I got 12 emeralds for dropping off one pizza. Bro, I get paid one emerald a week. Dang it. Wait, wait, Melon, Melon, chill. Look, look. Uh, uh, there you go. Six emeralds in there. I don't even care. But on second thought, six emeralds is six emeralds. What have you done? What did you do, Sonny? Bye. Sonny and Melon, get over here. Uh, what's up, boss? Sonny, you just completely pooped everywhere in the bathroom. You're fired. Ah, uh, well, I didn't really want this job anyways. Here, take the uniform back. And Melon, you are fired for causing a scene in the restaurant. All of our customers are upset. Dang it. You know what? Your job was trash. And like, literally trash because I was a janitor. Oh, Melon. And you got fired too? Yeah, dude. Well, it was a pretty poop job. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, Sonny, we should probably find a better gig. Something that pays a little bit more. Yeah, I'm wondering what that'll be. Oh, a job? In need of scientists, Megalodon Inc. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if I want to work for long bottoms. But then again, in need of an experienced astronaut and a pilot? Bro, this sounds awesome. I'm not telling Melon about this. I'm about to be the world's richest pilot. Pilot. I've just got to take the car and head off to my first day at work. See ya, Melon! Wait, Sonny, where are you going? None of your business, Melon! Oh, dang it, dude. He took the car. How am I supposed to get anywhere now? Hold on a second. We've got some tools in here. This gives me an idea. I'll become the best mechanic Minecraft has ever seen. There it is. The airplane hangar. Ooh, look at this old bird. I wonder how well she flies. Oh, it flies flies soundly. We just need a new daredevil pilot. I mean, experienced pilot. There's totally no risk in flying this old thing. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm the man for the job. How many emeralds does this pay? Over 100 emeralds per day. As long as you survive. I mean, as long as you fly well. A hundred emeralds per day? Oh, 
Sign me up. Good luck, Sonny. Thanks. I don't need luck. Oh, I'm about to fly high in the skies. Pull up. Pull up. Yes, I'm doing it. Wait, no. I'm crashing already. Well, guess I'm not getting 100 emeralds. Ah, uh, yes. My first client. Mm, looks like you probably have some engine troubles. Here, let me just grab that car for you. Throw it on the jack. And uh, let me inspect it. Uh, I know what's wrong. Hold on. Just let me grab my wrench real quick. Okay. Just grab my wrench and my hammer. And what you have here is a problem with your V6 cylinder. Um, yeah, your gas tank casket is uh, proficiently, profoundly uh, busted. So let me just do this real quick. Uh, here we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, yep. It's looking all fixed now. Hold on one more. Yep. There we go. Yep. Your car should be good now. No problem. Yep. You're welcome. Hmm. Yep. It'll be 64 emeralds, please. Hmm. Yep. Uh, thank you very much much thank you very much and enjoy your car uh guys i think i seriously messed up are you okay mr villager i'm gonna sue you for every emerald you have <sighs> One week later. Yo, Sonny, come down here. I need to talk to you. What's going on, bro? I was trying to take a nice beauty sleep. How many emeralds do you have? We need to get that God Gaming PC. Oh, yeah, you're right. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, right. As if I could forget. I've got a whole six emeralds. Bro, are you kidding me? You've done nothing. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, I only have six. I thought maybe that I had seven. Bro, I had 59 emeralds. Now with yours, we have 65 in total, bro. We need, like... Uh, oh, 935 more. It's okay, Melon. If we just invest this money well, we'll have a thousand in no time. Anyways, I got word of a go-kart competition. If we come in first, Sonny, we could win big. Are you sure that's a good idea? I was thinking more like Dogecoin. No, Sonny, follow me. It's time to go karting. Hey, I see what you did. Oh, Quandale, you're running this? Yeah, it's a five emerald admission fee. All right, Sonny. Well, uh, I know you don't have any more emeralds, so take this. Thank you. That's five emeralds. And I'm buying my way into this competition. Same here. All right, get in your carts and get ready. Wait, Quandale, what about the rest of the racers? Nope, it's just you two. Winner takes all. Uh, fine. Let's go! Let's do it! Oh, 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 eat my dust! Sonny, I'm gonna win. Take all of your emeralds and the major jackpot that Quandale was telling me about. Yeah, 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 right, right, right. We'll see about that, Melon. There's three laps until we see who wins this. So far, I'm in the lead! No, I messed up! But I'll come back, Sonny, in no time. Shortcut! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you messed up big time, Sonny. Lap two and I've completed it. Dang it! I'm back on the track! And I'm going for my final lap. Let's go. Wait, Melon, you were capping about that jackpot. There's no way. I win! Bro, what's the jackpot prize? Congratulations, Melon. You've won. Ooh, that's gotta be like a thousand emeralds, right, Quandale? No, not at all, bro. Actually, the jackpot is just my fee. I take ten emeralds away from the total standings, so you didn't make anything. You've lost ten emeralds. Quandale, you just scammed us! No, no, Melon, I'm taking my emeralds back. Ah, he already took them! Dude. Days later. Yes, we've made it to the bank. Sonny, get out of the car. Grab the stuff. This is our last resort. I didn't want it to come to this melon, but I won't give up on that super epic gaming PC. We will buy it. Yes, and in order to do that, we're gonna rob the bank. But we're only gonna use toy guns. That way it's only a minor crime. Exactly. So how much does that hurt? Zero, bruh. <laughs> awesome. Now, Sonny, let's rob Rob this place. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, wait, wrong song. How about this? Dun, 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 dun. Wait, wrong song. Sorry. How do you do Jaws? Sorry, no song. No song. We're going in there. We need to look intimidating. Everybody put your hands up. Especially you, mustache man. I'll shoot. I'll do it. I swear it. You hear that? That's real bullets. Oh, yeah. You want to lose your head? Oh. Melon? Melon, I'm sorry. I messed up. I messed up. I'm going to grab the money and run, son. Give me all this. Give me all this. This actually worked out perfect. I'll distract the guards. Sonny, we got a dip. Get back to the car. I'm right behind you, brother. Let's get out of here and go shopping. Uh, Sonny, bad news. We couldn't afford fuel. We're out of gas. It's okay, Melon. It looks like we've lost the bank guards. We'll have to run home on foot. Bro, they probably called the cops.
Sonny, we gotta go quick. That sounds like SWAT. Even more dangerous than the police. Let's go. Well, Sonny, from that heist, we gathered 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000 emeralds. That's more than enough emeralds to buy the super legendary gaming computer that we saw in the commercial break. Woo! Yes, finally, Sonny, we'll get everything we've been working so hard for. Sold out, out of stock. Melon, we're too late! No! Yo, goats, check out my new gaming PC. Isn't it epic? Almost as epic as pressing that like button and subscribing to Sunny and Melon. Today in Minecraft, I found the cameraman's secret lair and turned myself into one of them. Whoa. Hey, Sonny, you look kind of different. Yeah, that's because I'm a cameraman now, and I have all these amazing powers, like a jetpack and teleportation through cameras. X-ray vision and hypnosis and... Oh, come on. You made up that last one. Nuh-uh. Watch this. Go subscribe to the channel right now. You're not fooling anyone. Today, Sonny and I opened up our very own shop. And I'm on cash today. Wait, but where's Sonny? He's supposed to be the one bringing in the food. Sonny, this guy, he was supposed to be up two hours ago. Sonny, Sonny, what are you doing still sleeping? Uh, good morning, Melon. It's a beautiful day in Minecraft. Did you forget what day it is today, Sonny? Uh, Tuesday? It's the grand opening of our shop, and you were supposed to collect some fresh fish. Please tell me you did that already. Oh, yeah. I totally... I gotta go, guys. I gotta go catch some fish. <laughs> well, Sonny goes to fish. I'm gonna go get the milk. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta milk the cows. Where are the buckets? There they are. <laughs> Time to milk cows. Give me all the milk. There it is. The fishing boat. I've just gotta get on there, grab my rod, and get busy. Come on, come on. Where'd I leave my fishing rod? Is it in here? Yes, got it. And now I've just got to catch a couple of fish. What is that? Why is there a helicopter over there? Hold on, let me just get one fish before Melon gets angry. There it is. One little fish. And now let's investigate that helicopter. What is this? And what's beneath it? This looks really suspicious and way more important than Melon's fishing job. There you go. Back to the ocean. Wait a second. Quandale, what are you doing here? Sonny, good you're here. You're the bravest guy I know. Can you please go investigate that helicopter? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, Quandale, you're right. I also have a weird feeling about this. There's a giant tank and a helicopter. Where did it come from? Where's it going? Well, I guess I'll investigate. A couple more dirt blocks and this should be plenty. Uh, I think I went a little overboard. It's time to find out what's in this helicopter. What does it all mean? What great mysteries lie within. Well, uh, I can't even get in it. It's pretty skinny, but there's a chest here. Ghost blocks and a paper. Wait, these look like coordinates. 8806662. Okay. Huh. Oh, that was close. Let's see. 880. Here we go. And then we gotta go to 20. Whoa! Uh, this looks super suspicious. What is this place? It's so creepy. I feel like I'm being watched from every angle. There's like one, two, three, four, 30, 60, 75 cameras in here. I don't know, bro. This is so strange. Uh, what is this? Camera monitor. I'm in another secret room, guys. I don't like this place. What is this? Two, eight. Um, hey, camera two. No, I'm just looking at myself underground. Uh, camera eight. Uh, no, just still looking at myself underground. Maybe. 28. Camera 28. There's gotta be a 28. There is the last camera. Whoa. What am I looking at? Go down. Go down from where? This is really suspicious. Wait a second. Those blocks right over there kind of look like the place I'm standing on. Hold on. If I just go to the center of the camera room, it looks like there should be more ghost blocks that will allow me to go down. Okay, well, let's just jump off of this. Yes, I was right. Those were elevator blocks. And then, no, these aren't even ghost blocks. Maybe there's a secret trap door. Yes, I made it. I went down. 
down. Now, what is this place? Uh, hello? Secret, secret. Uh, okay, this is weird. There is a beacon down here, but it's not powered. There's that camera I was watching from, but it's still telling me to go down. But where? Is there more ghost blocks here somewhere? No, I don't think so. Uh, is there an elevator? Secret elevator. Wait a second. There's carpet here. Let's remove this and see what we find. Yo, trap door. I wonder what's down here. Come on, come on. The beacon room. Okay, that's perfect. And there's a chest. Whoa, netherite blocks. I think I can just use these to power the beacon. Come on, please work. It worked. Yes. Now, I wonder what happens if I go in this room and close the door. Wait a second. Where'd my hand go? Uh, what am I? Yo, I turned into a cameraman. That is so strange. Uh, I look awesome. How am I supposed to get back up there? Wait a second. I'm a cameraman. I should have a jetpack. I'm almost back. Oh, wait. I didn't pick up any fish. Uh, I think Melon's going to be pretty mad at me. Today's a special day. Sunny and I are opening up our brand new shop. I'm working cash today, and Sunny should have gathered all the fish. Wait a second. Where's Sunny? This is a milk and fish shop, and our fisherman is gone. Guys, I'm back in town, and it's time for me to teleport inside of Melon's shop, because I discovered a new superpower. I could teleport to any camera in the game. Ah, what is that? Oh, hey, Melon, it's me. It's Sunny. Oh, it's an invader. It's an invader. I need a weapon. I have no weapons. All I have is milk. Melon, relax. It's me, Sunny, bro. Look, you can see I have a fishing rod. Oh, wait. Sunny, bro, why do you look like that? So, when I went to go catch the fish this morning so we'd have supplies for the store, I saw a secret helicopter, explored it, found secret coordinates, explored those, then found a machine that transformed me into a cameraman. Whoa, that's awesome. Uh, so did you get the fish? Oh, no, I didn't catch any fish, but I got the rod. Sunny, I asked you for one simple thing. And that was to get fish. Our whole store sells milk and fish. And all we got is milk. Yeah. Don't you think that's kind of a weird combination anyways? Shouldn't it be like milk and cookies or something? No, milk and fish sounds way better. Whatever, bro. I'll go get your dang fish. And I have a way better idea. I'm not gonna catch them. I think I'm gonna use my new abilities, guys. To steal them! Check it out. Over here's a fish factory. They've been running milk. Melon's shop out of business, but not after what I do. Time to fly over the wall and on top of this place. It's time to pull off a heist. I'm gonna steal every last fish that they have, and then they won't be able to stop our store. And perfect. They have a security camera on the outside, which makes me think they have a security camera on the inside. Teleport! Yes, it worked. Now that I've made it inside of the factory, it's time for me to steal some supplies. What's in this chest? The Skibbity Broadsword? That sounds awesome! And oddly suspicious. Eh, whatever. Ugh, these doors are locked. I'm gonna have to jetpack up. Yes, and then get through these vents. Uh-oh, there's spiders in here! Die! Yes, the power of the Skibbity Broadsword. I can defeat these and scale through the vents like it's nothing. Goodbye. Oh, I have to do everything myself. I don't know what Sunny's doing right now. All I asked him to do was fish some fish. Uh, guys, I'm hearing a really weird noise around this corner. It's got me a bit nervous. What are these? Skibbity spiders? No! That's it. Die! Die! You're disgusting! You're so gross! There's no room in this world for you! These skibbities out of here. Get them all out of here. Every last one. Yes! For the cameraman! I did it. I saved the factory from those... Wait a second. Maybe those were guarding the factory. <laughs> now it's time for me to steal from this place and bring all the fish back home. I'm in! Ow, that kind of hurt, though. Are you kidding me? There was an open door on this other side the whole time. I could have just walked right in here. Whatever. Give me all your fish. Look at them, guys. So many slammings. We're gonna bankrupt the fish suppliers and have a monopoly on every fish in town. Ugh, guys, I honestly have way too much fish. So I think instead, I'm just gonna blow it all to smithereens. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. There's no more fish for any one. Melon's gonna be so proud of me. Melon! 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 Yo, bro! 
I got the fish. Sonny, I've been out all day fishing and I only got one salmon. Don't worry. Take a look at this shipping crate. What the heck is a... Yo! Oh, yo, we got so much fish. Oh, Melon, there's way more than that. Why don't you come into the storage room and inspect the large chest? What the heck? Bro, where did you get all this fish? Are you sure you want to know? Uh, honestly, no, that's okay. I don't need to know. Good, because it's probably better that way. Sonny, we have another problem. I got a lot of milk from the cows, but they aren't producing anymore. We're going to run low in uh, T minus two days. Uh, that's not good if the only things we sell is milk and fish, bro. We're going to have to squeeze these udders until there's nothing but dust. No, Sonny, stop. No, that's not how you milk cows. Sonny, stop. Milk, milk. Milk. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. There was no milk left in those udders. I only got raw beef and leather. I'm sorry. <sighs> Sonny! Don't worry, bro. I'll come up with a brilliant plan. And come to think of it, if I'm the cameraman, that means there's the TV man somewhere else in this world. And legend has it, the TV man loves to sit down, watch TV, and drink a lot of milk. Uh, I don't know where you heard that from, Sonny. But wherever you get the milk from, I don't care. We just need the supplies. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go steal from the Titan TV man. And that means you're an accomplice just by participating because you run the shop. Uh, I don't know what you just said, but yeah! I used my camera teleportation ability to infiltrate the Titan TV man's house. Now I've just gotta go past all my fellow cameramen and blend in. Yeah, hey, how's it going there, Jimbo? Ah, yeah, beautiful day here. Ooh, yeah, TV man's, yeah, I'm part of your cult. Everything's cool, yep. Uh, see you, Carl, have a great day. Ah, and we're in the clear, we made it. Yes, we're inside of the Titan TV man man's house now. This place is enormous. Whoa! Let's look around here and see if we can spot the milk. That's his oven and it looks like he's currently cooking up some creepers. Uh, let's see. Nope, no milk there. No milk here. Oh, there it is. The milk. This is a pretty large carton. It should supply Melon's shop for months, maybe even years. Yes, it's perfect. Now I've just got to pick it up. Yes, the giant milk carton. It's all mine. Now all I've got to do is set it up back here near the cows. And build! It's beautiful. Melon's gonna be so happy with me. Oh, uh, what is this? It's the biggest milk carton of all time. Courtesy of the Titan TV man. Sonny, thank you so much! With this, we're gonna be rich! There's just one problem. What's that? The problem is, everyone else is going to the other shops! If our problem is getting the villagers to come to our shop, I think I've got an idea. Now all I've got to do is wait for it to be nighttime. Um, okay, Sonny. As long as this is legal, I'm okay with it. Yeah legal. Three hours later. Melon, the sun is set and it's a perfect night to clog some toilets. Let's go. Wait, Sonny, we're clogging toilets? Well, I am. You need to stay here so it's not too suspicious. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just chill, I guess. I'm just gonna go to sleep then. Yeah, just make sure the store is spick and span for tomorrow because we're gonna have a lot of customers. Okay, guys, the first thing I need to do is get into Alex's bread shop and clog every last toilet. Let's see. Where's her camera? Gotta be in here somewhere. Teleport! And we're in. Yes. Now to find that toilet. I think it's right in here. Oh, yes it is. And now I clog it with concrete powder. Yes! Just wait until tomorrow. You'll see what happens. Oh, this next shop, I feel a bit guilty. It's Quandale's, but his toilet needs to get clogged. It's right here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So many skibbies. Yes, guys, you're right. By clogging the toilets, skibbities will spawn. And don't think I'd forget about Steve's shop. He's got a decent security system, but nothing my camera teleport can't bypass. Yes, I'm in. Perfect. Now, where's Steve's toilet? Let's see. Is it back here? Nope. I have a feeling it's upstairs. The luxury throne. Time to summon the skibbies. Clog it. Clog it. Yeah. Oh man, tomorrow is gonna get crazy in this city. 
the next day. Sonny, business is booming. Check how many customers we have. Yeah, bro. It's because they can't go to any other shop. Didn't you hear what happened last night? What happened, Sonny? Everybody's store, except for ours, got infested with skibbity toilets. Yo, that's such a coincidence. Yeah, it's not like I clogged them up to make this happen. Yeah, as long as you didn't do that, Sonny, we're good because we can't get in any legal trouble. Correct. Here, take the fish and give me all your emeralds. Bro, I'm checking out everyone's shop and I feel so bad for Quandale. Even he's got a skibby infestation. Ew, gross. There's a spider skibby in his shop. What about Steve's? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of toilets in here. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem. Yo, Quandale, how it do? Nice new outfit, by the way. Yeah, I had no time to get out of my pajamas because my entire house was infested with skibidi toilets. Get them out of there immediately. Quandale, Quandale, what makes you think I have anything to do with this? Your shop is literally the only one on the entire street not infested with skibidi toilets. Ah, I guess I'm just lucky, you know? Yeah, we're just lucky because we have great plumbing, Quandale. Mwah! I can't even argue with you two bozos. I'll pay you 1,000 emeralds if you just get rid of those darn toilets. 1,000 emeralds? Melon, we're going to be rich. Yo, uh, Sonny, I don't know how we're really going to get rid of the toilets. I just have fish and a uh, fishing rod. Yeah, it looks like it's a job for the cameraman. I'll eat a couple of our salmons, and then it's time to destroy these toilets. Die. Quandale, I'll even unclog your facilities. You got to stop it at the root. Where did that spider toilet go anyways? Huh, maybe the problem kind of took care of itself. Oh, no, not for Steve. There are toilets in here. Are they all hiding up Stairs? Ah! The spider toilet's in the trees! Die! Oh, thank goodness. That one is so weird. And there's a couple more toilets on the loose out here, but don't worry, I'll handle it. And slap! Whack! Hey, Melon! Melon! Oh! Ah! Hey, Sonny, what's up? I'm almost done clearing out all the skibbity toilets. Can you go collect that payment from Quandale? Yeah, I got you. Quandingle, Quandingle. I'm gonna need the payment now up front. Die! Last toilets! Slap them, slap them. Time for you to get flushed. Here you go, Melon. One stack of emerald blocks. Why, thank you, Quandale. 64 emerald blocks. Sonny, we're rich! No, Melon, he scammed us. He said a thousand. Wait, yeah, Quandale, what is this? Well, this is all I have. Take it or leave it. Guess we'll take it, Sonny. It is what it is, but we're still totally loaded. Sonny, with this, we can do anything. All of our wildest dreams will come true. Uh, why did it suddenly become midnight? And what's that sound? Uh, Sonny, I don't like this. What's happening? Uh, Sonny, what is that? It kind of looks like the Titan TV man. You little rat, Sonny. You stole my milk. You're gonna have to pay for this. No, 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 I'm sorry. Melody's too powerful. I can't fight him. Sonny, what did you do? Why is this guy mad at us? You thieves stole my milk, and for that crime, you shall pay with everything you have. No, 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 please don't. Uh, Quandil, we have an emergency. I'm gonna need your help. Okay, okay, Sonny. I have just the perfect thing for this. I built a Titanizer machine in my laboratory. Head over there and power it up. It will turn you into a Titan cameraman. That's a great idea, Quandale. I'll meet you over there. Quandale, I'm here. Where's the Titan machine? The Titanizer machine is just behind me on the right. Your right or my right? Er, my right, sorry. Oh, this thing. Yeah, this looks really cool. Oh. How does it work, Quandale? Wait, 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 I'm not ready. Yo, check me out. And I got a new sword. Ancient guardian sword. I'm as big as Quandale's lab now. Wait, I'm even bigger. Uh, I got to teleport out here. This place is too cramped. I teleported back to our shop. Now, where's that Titan TV, man? Sonny, help! Don't worry, Melon. I got your back. You think this beauty Titan can stop me? Die! Die! I'm too big. I can't even hit him. Yes, I got him. Ha <laughs> ha! He's pathetic. Sonny, you're so powerful. How did you get that form? I talked to Quandale, and he used his Titanizer machine, and because I was already a cameraman, he was able to transform me into this beast. Sonny, you're so awesome. Aw, can you call me goaded? You know what? Just this once. Sonny, you're... Oh, you thought Melon would say Sonny is goaded. That's never gonna happen. Subscribe right now if you haven't, because we're so close to 500,000 subscribers. And click the next video on screen, where I trap Sonny and Melon on one chunk.